Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. This is part 4 of our Making Mastermind in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tutorial series. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create some more functions such as the isValid function, and a few others that'll help us as we continue creating this game. So, the first function we're going to create is going to be change current row. And this function will change the valid row that the player is that the player is currently playing on because in mastermind if if the player has not played in the row below they cannot play in a row that's on top so say it's the first turn a player cannot start playing at the top row because that's just not how the game works so this function will deal with that so change current row we're going to set the current row variable to minus equals one, so decrease by one. Var mult will equal four. This is the multiplier, and the only reason why this multiplier is here is because we have four rows in or four cells in each row, and so we need that multiplier to account for each of those IDs. And then we're going to be creating current board cells and that will equal board plus current row times mult minus four and I'll explain to you what this code means but let's finish this variable so we can copy that paste this down here three more times change that to one two and three so what this does is it sets the current board cell array and the four variables within this color board cell array or current board cells array are the four variables that the player is currently playing at and so current row times molt minus four is the algorithm that I use to set this cell and then minus three would be this cell minus two, this cell minus one, the last cell. And so we're going to do the same thing for the pegs now. So you can just copy this, paste it. Instead of current board cells, it'll be current peg cells. Change each board to peg. And that's all you need for this function. And so now we're going to be using this function within our isValid function to determine whether where the current player plays is a correct location. So function is valid. The ID as a parameter. And then if current board cells dot includes ID and has one is equal to false then we're going to return true and then below this we're going to return false so what this does is it states that if current board cells includes the ID of where the player clicks at and the player has not yet won because the player cannot play if they have already won then we will return true and then lastly we're going to create the check win function so if code zero is equal to cell one color and code one is equal to cell two color and code two is equal to cell three color and lastly 
code three is equal to cell four color. So if all of those colors match up, then we're going to set has one to true because the player has one. And we're going to alert the player so that they know that they have won. Congratulations. You have won. And then new line. The code will now be displayed. And then now we're going to set these colors to their original code values. So using jQuery, we're going to grab secret color one. Dot CSS background color. And that will be set to code zero and we'll do the same for the rest of them you can just copy and paste it see what color two three and four and then we're also going to return has one All right, so that's all we're going to have for this video. And so just as a recap, what we've done in this video is we've created three functions, the change current row function, the is valid function, and the check win function to help us in future videos uh, figure out if the player has won and where they're playing is the correct location. And so you can't really see the result of this of these functions being created right now because there are still things that we need to implement but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be making one very soon that will implement these functions alright so if you enjoyed please like and subscribe this is Steam Code and I'll see you next time